Abhishek from India asks, what is the best way to receive a short, no-spin serve, both on the forehand and backhand? Please let me know about the foot movement involved as well. Okay, this is a good question. And as your, as your question right now, I have to say something. Okay, when you return the serve, remember you are ready position. So this is your ready position. When you ret, uh, return all the serve, try to without the crossover. So always try use a sing, uh, simple step, like a single step or your side shuffle, okay? So this is your footwork. And your hand, so earlier I said, when you return the short balls, you need, first of all, you need to use your wrist to control the ball when you do the flip. And when you do the push, you don't have to use your wrist because when you use your wrist, it can make the ball even worse. Sometimes the less control miss right away. So most time, when, when you use the wrist, they're getting more dangerous. Okay, so try to ready to go. So do your soap without your wrist when you push, push back. And no spin, so think about it, no spin, so you can count it like a almost top spin. So what that means, that means your ball is easy to go boom, go this high. So how can you fix it? On the push, try to, your racket angle, change it, change to 90 degrees, change to this way. So you have to remember, okay, right now I changed it already. And when you push, take a look what happened. If the ball's still high, you're going to change a little bit more. And when you touch the ball, don't give the ball too much power. So your body already inside of the table. Okay, so ready position and go. So your single step already inside of the table. Body is inside of the table too. Ready to push? Yes, okay. Think about it. Your racket here. And you're gonna touch the ball around this area, right? So take a look, this area, so, from the net, they're so close. That's only this big to go over the net. So if you go normal push, the ball gonna go out, the first one. If you less control, that means your racket angle go this way. No spin, kind of top spin. Change your racket angle. So this one, very important. You don't have to uh, how to say this, uh, push the ball too hard, no. Just uh, touch the ball. The ball is easy to over the net because this area is not too long, right? It's so short, close to net. So you don't have to hit the ball too hard, just uh, touch the ball. And you see you touch the ball, your ball gonna bounce, try to aim to stand over the table. When you return the short with no spin, Try to aim to this area or this area. Okay, so your power control, bang, sand over the table. And here, racket angle control the arc. So you are good control in the, po uh, in the power, and here, good control on the arc. Because no spin, you have to change your racket angle. And also, when you return it, when you return those balls, if you play the game, your plan, use, uh, this way, your plan, use 30% uh, power to push the ball. For sure, you already use the 40%, because when you play the game, you got nervous, got your muscle, your body is already tight. So 
you plan use a 30% power, you already use the 40% power already because your body is so tight and muscle as when you play the game it's a little bit stronger. Okay, so when you do the short, return with the short and no spin, right angle, and just the touch the ball, just a touch the ball. So remember I told you, when you touch, you still need the control. So this is a good time when you, against this player, this is a good time to practice your control. So power and arc, power and arc, that's very important. But most time, after a while, you're gonna forget, you're gonna come back, boom. So once the ball, boom, come out, you have to quick, thinking about it, oh, something wrong, where? Power, if it go out, that means too much power. If too high, that means your racket angle. Same thing, your backhand. Most time, we're gonna move the slack inside, do forehand, backhand, most time. But sometimes, we're gonna use this one, because the ball comes over this way. You use this one. How about another side? You lost another side already, right? So try, you can try use this lap. So, bang or push. Same thing, when you return the shorts, racket angle. So you can, if your ball always go out, you can try to change a bit more racket angle. And when you touch the ball, see this is easy to use your power to aim to that corner. When you see it, wow, it's a good chance. But when your racket see it, that's a not really good chance. You bang, the ball easy to go out, right? So don't try push too hard. Just to try keep the arc lower and the ball on the table first. Or if you wanna, no, this guy always bang, bang, always kill me on this time. You can add more, a little bit spin. How can you add more spin? Once you want to try add more spin, you can add more power, right? So this time you don't push like this. You can try to push like this. So when you bang, add more spin, that means add more set spin but not too much power there. So still can keep the ball on the table. So you can go, ready position, go up, bang. You can go this way. Lots of people, they doing this way. So ready position, and set shuffle, go in, or single step, go in. Then ready, so racket angle, you don't have to go this way, right? Change your racket angle, bang. You can do this way. And forehand, if you want to add, try to do a little bit set spin there. So we go in, push, bang. When you do this one, you already know your power, you didn't add your power too much, but you add lots of spins there. But anyway, before you do it, you have to make a good control there. Okay, it's uh, clear for your question. Uh, some examples, you're gonna take a look at the footwork and what is it? Racket angle. Also your power, how to control your power. So it's close to the night, so you don't have to hit the ball too hard, okay? Okay, for examples, uh, my helper going to serve my shorts, balls, both of the sides and all no spin, okay? Ready? Racket angle. Yeah. Oh, see, this one, a little bit high. I need to change my racket angle a little bit more, right? So, a little bit higher. Okay, change it again. Oh, this is good, right? So, don't use your wrist. Just use your forearm. Touch it. So, when you touch it, Racket angle, oh, that's much better. You see that? So don't use your wrist, just bam, go this way. And if you want add more spin, you can do it this way, but right now, if you keep missing, don't do this way. You can try to move to side a little bit. Let me show you again. Okay, ready? Go. 
See, the ball won't, won't go out too much. The power, you didn't add up too much power, just add more spin there. Same thing, backhand. No, I mean, sorry. I'm gonna push to your backhand, yeah. No spin, just no a no spin. spin, yeah. You don't have the, yeah, so just go a little bit side, so you won't hit the ball too hard. So the ball still on the table, bam. So go this way. And also you can, backhand side, show you a little bit. So first of all, don't go oh too high. Change my racket angle, remember? A little bit high, still change it. Oh, this is good, right? So your racket angle right now, you lock it up. This racket angle, so you know when you return with no spin, lock it up, your racket angle. And if you want to add more spin, go this way. If you go this way, the ball going to that turn. Okay, looks good. Go, see, move to side. So the ball won't go far, still keep the ball on the table. And also you can try to this way, uh, ready position, single step. Oh, too high, racket angle. Go back to, see it's much better right now. Uh, so you can practice a little bit more, try to fix your racket angle and the power. Right, so if you want to add more power and the racket angle, you can try it this way. This is my own opinions, okay? So if you anyway is working for you, keep it on the table, no problem. This is uh, enough. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Fifty four. Three. 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 53. Okay, I already asked that, okay? Also, the flies like to listen to the every class. So this is a good thing, huh? This is just a top spin. Ba, 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 anywhere. Whatever you want. 46B. 46.5. My boss pushed me to say that, okay? Always give me a hard time. I need another break. Ready? Number 4099. Go home. Yay. Okay, ready? Yay. Ready? Cut. That's a funny, huh? Go smash. Bam, bam. Same leg up. Top spin. Go do it, don't be shy. Oh. 